There is a spirit of justice in heaven and on earth, dispersed yet exists in different forms. This Jungshige Song of Righteousness was composed by Wen Qianxiang in the late Southern Song Dynasty. The poem shows his loyalty to the country. During wartime, Wun Tianxiang led the army to protect the country, but he was taken prisoner when he was defeated by the Mongolian army. Wun Tianxiang did not give in, despite threats and bribes. Let's read the story of Wun Tianxiang. Father, who are they? These are the loyal officials from our village. They help the country and people, so they are highly respected. Wow, I want to be like them! From then onwards, Wen Tianxiang studied hard with his father, aiming to be an undefeatable hero. Confucius said, isn't it a pleasure to study and practice? What you have learned, be the last to enjoy. During the reign of Emperor Li Zong of Song, the fourth year of the Baoyu era, 1256 AD. Well, nice. This person writes perfectly and is also loyal to the country. I decided to award him first place. Wow, look! Look! There he is Here comes the, the top scorer uh, in this year's imperial examination! The Emperor demands the top scorer, Wen Tianxiang, to enter the hall! Your servant, Wen Tianxiang, will be loyal and never let your majesty down. Well, very well. During the reign of Emperor Li Zong of Song, the first year of Kai Tsing era, 1259 AD, the Mongolian army advanced southward, shocking the entire empire. The emperor sent troops to defend the country. Ah, what should we do? Your Majesty, at this critical moment to ensure the safety of our country, I suggest we move our capital. Your Majesty, this should not be done. Moving the capital in this critical moment will shake the confidence of our people and army. Your Majesty, please think twice. You both got your points, but... Your Majesty, the Mongolian army is very strong. We are no match for them. Your Majesty, Dong Song Chen shakes the confidence of our troops. I beg Your Majesty to execute this cunning official to boost the morale of our troops and people. <laughs> I'm just worried about the safety of Your Majesty. They wrongly accused me. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Dong Song Chen is a loyal official. You shouldn't blame him. I'm sick of these cunning officials in the Imperial Court. I'd rather return to my hometown. Wait, Officer Wen. Please don't go. How about I send you to manage regional affairs? I believe you could do it. <sighs> Thereafter, Wen Tianxiang changed his position from central to regional. During his duty as a regional official, he managed the place orderly and was adored by the people of his region. Huh? Emergency! Oh, what's Emergency! Going on? This is a most critical moment for our country. The former emperor was gone, and the new one is still young. The Mongolian army took this chance to attack us. We are helpless now. The Empress Dowager ordered us to recruit fighters to save our country. I must help! Come, fellows! Please, sell my lands in my hometown for the defense costs, and post these notices to recruit warriors to defend our land! Many exceptional fighters and people came to join the troops when they heard about the recruitment effort. During the reign of Emperor Duan Zong of Song, the second year of Xing Yan era, 1277 AD. Huh. The Song Dynasty has been forced to move to the south. They seem not to be able to resist us. However, if we do not remove the two loyal officials of Song, Wen Qianxiang and Shang Xuzhu, I won't be relieved. We must root them out. Under the fierce attack of the Mongolian army, the army of Wen Tianxiang in Guangdong was defeated. Wen Tianxiang was captured. Zhang Suzie and Lu Shufu, please protect our young emperor and escape. At the moment of life and death, Zhang Shijie, Lu Shufu and other loyal officials risked their lives to protect the young emperor to flee to the south. The Mongolian army followed closely and chased them to Yashan, now known as Xinhui in Guangdong. The southern song in Yashan was not able to resist the powerful Mongolian army and was eventually defeated. Being captured, Wen Tianxiang was brought to the capital of Mongolia. Kublai Khan admired the talent, bravery and loyalty of Wen Tianxiang and hoped that he would surrender. After the end of the southern Song dynasty. It's been a long while. Wen Tianxiang is still not giving in? 
Your Majesty, Wen Qiangqiang is loyal to the Song Imperial Court. We treated him a big feast as if he were a prestigious guest. To our surprise, he didn't eat at all. We threatened to kill his family. He wasn't afraid. As long as he is seated, he faces towards the south, because that is where Song is located. He is really stubborn. You should surrender. The Emperor Kublai Khan said you could be his Prime Minister. Get lost! It turned out that Wen Qianxiang rejected all of our offers. He is really stubborn. Wen Qianxiang is not only loyal, he is also knowledgeable. I adore him. If he joins us, our empire shall become more powerful. Ah, oh, what a shame. He is too stubborn. Since he is not going to surrender, we shall not keep him forever. Come, my servants, execute him! Uh, 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 uh. After the end of the Southern Song Dynasty, Wun Qiangqiang was executed. Despite so, his persistence in protecting the country was widely praised. Same as the loyal officials from his hometown, the name of Wun Qiangqiang became immortal and highly respected. The historic relic in Hong Kong, Sung Wong Toy, used to be the place where the Southern Song officials, such as Zhang Shijie and Lu Xufu, protected the emperor against the Mongolian army. They had been to the area near Ma Tao Chung in Kowloon today. People then built a garden with a stone carving in the location, in memory of the event. My hard work studying the classic raised me high. The destructive warfare lasted four years well nigh. My shattered country is like willow catkins meandering with the breeze. My life is like a duckweed beaten by raindrops drifting without peace. Fearful of losing the battle, uneasiness grows on the frightful shore. Sailing across the lonely ocean, I sigh as I was captured, and so. From time immemorial, could anyone resist his end of life? But death becomes worthwhile as my loyalty can be found in history's archives.